Welcome back guys, I'm MG Haggis and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. I'm recording this basically straight after the last one, so what I've done uh, logistically is I'm back in the Kikimore with its three slot trailer, so we have six slots, fully repaired, fully refueled. The Royal BM is parked on the roadside here behind the other trailer, the Tegas have moved to the other side to create more space in that unloading zone three, and that's pretty much it. What I did do was had to think about how I could better do the small pipes and the metal beams. And what I came up with was, we're going to head to this warehouse like I suggested, but we're not going to pick up the small pipes, because that's four slots. We're going to pick up six slots of metal rolls, because each metal rolls can be crafted into a small pipes. So it's one metal rolls, one slot, we get a two slot small pipes out of it. So that way we get six metal rolls can craft into this final two small pipes and also the metal beams. One run. Makes sense to me. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go from our current point up here, drive all the way up to the warehouse, pick up the stuff, back down towards the gateway and round to the roll steel factory, craft up the, the necessary items, up to loading zone 3, that should complete the first part, and then it's the two cabins left, which we'll pick up from this residential area, up the hill, and drop them off in this residential area. That's the game plan, and that should be factory reservoirs all done. So, now you're up to date, speed, um, sun's shining, he's sleeping, let's get moving. He's ready to rock. I had considered using the, the Royal BM-17, but I just, I just like using this configuration at the moment. It works really well and the Kikimore is just super awesome. And plus, having just used the Royal BM, it breaks it up that little bit, if you know what I mean. I could have picked any number of trucks, I suppose, but... i be careful going down this hill. That trailer does do stuff it shouldn't do. I'm full speed in automatic and just dropping it down into the high ratio it just keeps control of the truck and trailer that little bit more especially when you come into corners and then as soon as you're on a straight back get the throttle back open we're going straight on over the bridge 50 kilometers per hour yeah no idea what i'm doing that is so frustrating, that's invisible damage, or invisible rocks, I presume it would be. And we're going to go straight over here. I believe in high ratio, it's going to be quite a climb. That is a serious, serious... Oh, I would not like to be coming doing that unless I'm on a set of skis or a snowboard. Or a sledge. A snowmobile. Ah, that would be cool. Some of these hills just do not really give you a, a proper perspective of how steep they are. I'm going to rely on the fact that there's not many options in this road because I'm not putting any waypoints down. Go on. It is vaguely familiar. In the high ratio again? Yes, we can. The kicking out is really powerful the 
Surprisingly, you don't get sent up this part of the map very often. It would have been really nice. I mean, it's a beautiful map if they did give you more variety on the locations. But you do feel like you're, all you've done is drive along that road once it's opened. Uh, from the warehouses in the north down to the drop-off points at unloading zone 1, 2 and 3. Keeping an eye out as best as I can for any bits that might try and sneak me in with a tip over. It's not doing it, not today. Not yet, anyway. Oh yeah! How awesome! There's a kiki more there. Don't need the load bed, I just need to get room for turning, that's all at some point. Right. I'll have all your metal rolls, please. Oh. Two pipes. Two metal beams. Nice! I hope I've got that right, I know make myself look really foolish when I get to the roll steel factory and I did get my calculations wrong. And around here. Seven point turn and we should be good. Be heavy though. And no double stacking, and I'm pleased about that. Not to say the trailer won't tip over and I still have to reload it, but. It's certainly got to be easier. I'm going up here a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Uh -huh. I thought that could have been a moment there. She didn't want to flatten. Full of that trailer because it'll tip over way before the Kiki more will, I think. Go on. Basically, I kept my foot to the floor the whole way from leaving that garage or that warehouse. Changing gear is the only thing I've done. And we're off again. Yeah. Run, run, run. <gasps> Trailer's going. Oh, I just saw it starting to go. I'm sure the inner wheels were uh, off the ground there. Right. Let's keep it going.
arrival ground here. Whoa. I just catch it in the corner of my eye. And I think we want to turn right. Do you want to go right here? Yeah, we do. And then past the garage and up the hill again. Remember when you come into this map for the first time, you come through that gateway. And you think, oh, where am I going to go? Do I go straight on? Do I go left? You come straight on and then you come across your garage. You go, wow, that was easy. You normally have to traverse a whole map before you find your garage or a trailer store or a fuel station. Not this time. Right, up the hill we go again. Ooh. Getting all excited. Swing a left. Is it just around this corner? Yes, it is. And up. Again, foot to the floor the whole way that. Level, keep it level. Nice and easy over this. How do we get up? Oh, yeah. Go right and then turn left. And you want to go back down. There you are. Nice and easy. Don't go, trailer, don't go to <sighs> Where did they end up? That's what I was I was I was going slow, come on. I was going slow. And that's why I was worried about the trailer doing something like that. Ah, oh, man! And they're away down the hill. I can only see two of them. Uh, how do I fish them back? Uh, let's get the trailer straightened up and lock it. Oh, there's the third one there. Yeah, now, can we reach... Can we reach that one down the bottom? That's the one we need to get. Might, might have dodged a bullet. Full-on Matrix-style bullet dodging. Please, please reach. It does reach. Yeah, dancer. Come on! I'm not denying that there was a little bit of luck there. A little bit of bad luck, but a whole lot of good luck. And for me, I mean, look where they could have ended up. Oh my life, that would have been bad. Right, in you go. as far as that crane reaches, that's okay. You get... Land 
there. And lastly... Where are they? That was so lucky. That could have just carried on rolling. in the trailer so it stacks or uh, packs I should say not stacks hmm I really don't want to detach the trailer I'm going to try and lay it carefully on that rounded top of those two That's bound to be a bad idea but I don't see how else I can I can't get the crane to reach to the very back there That's loose. Stay there. Stay there. Can you get the camp? Oh no, it's going, it's going, it's going. Oh, it's gone. <gasps> no. Why did it move? It was sitting there so comfortably. Me and my big mouth. I shouldn't have said anything. Where's it gone? I tried to get to the packing screen and I couldn't get to it because I need to unpack first. Before it let me pack. Oh no! Brain, please tell me I can fish it back. Oh no! It's exactly where I. Th Is that not trolling? You. That metal rolls have been the utter, utter bane of my region. Ah, I need that metal rolls. Ah, uh, okay, need to come up with a plan for that. Let's put the crane away. Um, how do I get down there? Without going all the way back. I'm spinning the camera and looking for a way down there, and I don't see it. Might have to go along down... Oh, man! Right. Night trailer. None of your shenanigans. Oh, that was a case of foot to the floor there. <sighs> There's always one. You're doing so well. So close to the rolled steel factory. Now, do I go down here then? I'm going to have to go and get it. Logically, you'd probably go and drop these off and then go back for it. But it's not going to beat me. I hope the snorkel's quite high up on this. Hey, actually, do you know what I am going to do? Stop. I'm going to leave the trailer there. I hope it doesn't roll away. I'm just going to use the crane. Okay, that's not that bad. Go on. Never been through here. Sorry, the camera's in the pylon. I just heard something running. I hope, oh, I hope it was that building and nothing else. If that's the trailer, suddenly made a bid for freedom down the hill, I'm not going to be pleased. I thought it was... I thought when you released it there, it'd maybe have, like, independent handbrake on it. Or a wheel lock. Right, you bad, bad metal rolls. I'm going to craft you into something horrible. You shall be forever horrible. Are you going to sit there for me? Yes. In fact, I'm even going to keep the 
crane attached to it. Winch it in tight, crane on top. It's going f oh no, oh, oh. It's not doing what I was wanting. Probably helps if you use the right key, MJ. Pressed it down and now it's back out of crane mode. And another pylon, excuse me guys, let me figure out. Put this over the camera. I should have left the trailer further up on that road. But my brain had switched off after losing that metal rolls, I should have thought. Come on, keep on. Come on. And keep the camera out of that pylon. Oh, the trailer's still there. Good, it was something else I heard. I just heard it and it sounded from my speakers as if it was coming from the back and I thought, is that that trailer running down the hill into the water? No. It has been good. I don't want to go too far into that water. I don't know what's in there. And stop. Connect. Yes. Okay. Now I'm not even going to bother putting that metal rolls into that trailer. I'm just going to try and cut the... Now, don't tip over trailer going around this corner. Is that trailer... Oh, I've locked it, didn't I? That's right. Better unlock it. Swimming time. Let's go. Let's have to see what this entails this way. They're clattering about in the back. Yeah. Oh. I expect to turn the camera around and there's nothing there. Okay. Not perfect, but we got away with it. Nice and tight, and turn. Right, one, two, three, four, five. And the naughty ones. And to pack them first. Pack them. Bye bye. So, small pipes. It's one of, one for ones. That makes so much more sense. It's easy and logical. Instead of taking the actual pipes, which are two slots, just take the metal rolls, which is one slot. Now they're two. Two small pipes and metal beams. Crap. Done. And I've still got one spare. I actually technically didn't need that one, but I wanted it. I'm not leaving them lying about. So now I need to load up again. Small pipes. A nose a problem. Load that. And load that. And then we'll come back for the metal beams. And yes, I could have double stacked, but I'm I'm cutting down in the double stacking. I'll do this one, and I'll probably end up just doing a quick jump cut, guys, just to get them dropped off, save a bit more time, because I've got to go and get those two cabins shifted. Really put that crane away as well, like a scorpion.
only that KRS crane was just a fraction longer, it'd be so much more useful. If I could reach without any problems to the back of that trailer, and the one I'm towing I'm talking about, that three slots, that would be awesome! It did it kind of before, but I think it was at a funny jaunty angle. As soon as you go into automatic, it loses grip. Much more room in here now. Just try and get that dolly a little bit more square ready for the turn. Like so, okay. Okay, cargo management. Lock the trailer. Round we go. Unlock the trailer again. Right, unlock. I think it did. Okay, right guys, I'm going to go and get the metal beams, bring them up, and then we'll do the final bit together. This shouldn't be too much of a problem, so I'll see you in a I want to get it finished, this contract finished in this episode, so... See you in a sec. What? Okay, metal beams, about to be dropped off without any shenanigans. The only thing I did was, when I was down at the Gold Steel Factory, I used that maintenance trailer that's down there to just to repair and refuel and then immediately picked up some more suspension damage coming back turn that again with the dolly lock it up and we're gonna get a cutscene for this bit maybe no oh and you go Good. And unlock that dolly again. Right, let's go and get some cabins. Oh yeah, I parked the Royal right behind the trailer. You can see the tires on that trailer, the JBE, almost the same. Massive tires on a trailer. That's got to be, got to be useful. Ignore all of those guys. Don't need them. And zoom along that trailer's doing its own thing again. Take it easy going down here. Get the cabins. The easiest way to do this now. Ooh, not sure. Got a better room for the cabinet to swing out. That should do there. Probably don't need the anchors, these things are light as a feather. Which one shall we take? Ooh. Under the roof. We'll take this first one, yeah. Come here. Out you come. Come, come on. Come 
got to reposition the camera. You lose all 3D uh, perspective. There you go. Come on. Camera, there we go. And I'll maybe just take this end one. Stuck between the support legs of the crane. Isn't that typical? Right, okay. Right, there he goes. A little bit more. In? Nope. A little bit more. See, that's, I can't quite tell where those back legs are. Now, there we go. Nice. Right. Store the crane and pack them both up. There we go. Lock that trailer again. Reverse. And out we go. I want to straighten the dolly, so I'm unlocking it. Get across the road. Lots of locking and unlocking of that dolly, but it's well worth it. We're going up the hill. Oh, when I was taking the the Ankh Mark 38 and that trailer back with the 700 litres of fuel, well, what was left of the 700, I topped up that Scout fuel trailer right at that junction there. So if the trailer's going back, it might as well just be emptied a little bit more into that Scout trailer. Makes more sense. Not that we've really needed it, but you know. Go on. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm really surprised that they didn't have us taking these cabins over the, the complete opposite side of the mountain or map. I should even try and get in the gate. Uh, nasty mod. Make it wide. And at least then I'll be facing the right direction for getting back out again. I don't know if we can get them in from this side. Maybe. Let's try it. Unpack that. Train mode. Don't bother turning. I can it go under that roof. Yes is the answer to that. Wasn't sure if it would go through that roof support bar there, but it does. We're going to register. Can't put the crane out any further though. I'll try and push it. Trying to correct a, a tipped over trailer, it never grips. 
of these. Yeah. There we go. It's in. It's in. That counts. Excellent. It's just going to be slightly more tricky to do this other one. slide in. The other cabin's seriously getting in the way though. Um, probably why I should be using the Caterpillar TH357. Alright, I'm going to have to move out of the way and get close enough. Sliding. The KRS crane won't go quite low enough for my liking. Let's just connect it and try and pull it in then a wee bit. Come on. I don't mind how you go in, just go in. Probably about what? A, a, an inch away from doing it? Cutscene, maybe? Yay! Yeah, very nice. Stage. Oh, stage. Can we, we can't even go play. I totally forgot about this other oil tank. Ah, okay. Store the crane. I'm going to go back through that fence. But, guys, it's going to be in the next episode to complete. Engine off. I think I'm good. Everything, everything's set. Yeah, game's just saved as well. That's nice. Hope you enjoyed this one. That was quite a bit different. Uh, I enjoyed it. Frustrating with the metal rolls again. They're, they're just such a pain for me. Anyway, we'll get this one completed in the next episode, guys. Please do come back, join me for that, and you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.